What up, everybody? Welcome back to iRacing. And today, as you can see, we are in the jumpy trucks running the Pro 4s. And this is actually a qualifier for an upcoming special event uh, that iRacing is putting on this weekend. Uh, it's called the Crandon Championships. Uh, this is the Crandon Qualifier. Uh, basically, throughout the week, we are running these races to gather points to help determine what split we end up getting for the uh, final or for the uh, for the actual championship. Uh, but anyways, this is uh, my outlap for my qualifying run. Uh, we are in a field of 16 trucks. Um, I'm technically the number five truck in the session. And in practice, I actually had the fastest lap time of 117.2. Um, so there, there was at least a good shot that I could be in the mix for uh, winning this qualifier. Um, but if you know Crandon, you know that it is a uh, <clears throat> land rush start with 10 trucks on, or up to 10 trucks on the first row. And it's a mad dash to the first corner, which usually involves a lot of uh, chaos. And I'm not going to give any spoilers. Uh, but Crandon lived up to being Crandon. Um, did get two good jumps for the heat race and also for the feature. Uh, but you guys will, will see what ends up happening. But before we get there, I uh, did want to say that if you are enjoying this, I would appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to the channel as well. Both those things do help me out. Let's know you guys want to see more of this kind of content. And um, I am planning on streaming uh, my session for the uh, actual Crandon Championships this weekend. Uh, that'll be on Saturday. Uh, but for now, we're going to go ahead and finish up our first lap of qualifying. And I didn't notice that it was three laps so I, I got my second lap in but then I just stopped because I thought that qualifying was done and then I noticed it was three laps uh, but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and mute up my mic and let you guys watch basically the rest of this race um, without my commentary uh, but yeah, I will talk to you guys uh, towards the end. Good luck, gentlemen.
Hey, Ant, sorry for the uh, contacting cowboy. Uh, don't worry about it. My steel cap is wrong anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, guys, so I believe we are on the white flag lap for the heat race. Um, I can't really say anything about the this particular race. Uh, um, while I feel the contact was, all the contact was very aggressive. Um, I don't feel that there was anything dirty on this. It was uh, racing, ra ra racing is racing, and you're gonna get contact. Uh, but we are going to be coming home here in P8 for the heat race, and getting all the positions that we can in the heat race is important because the finishing order for the heat race is what determines the starting order for the feature. And while I do like the idea that I am starting towards the outside of the front row, um, there's still going to be a lot of people on the inside of me that could push me wide as I hit the wall at the finish. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna now go ahead and jump forward to the main event. All right, guys. All right, guys, here's, so, so here is the main event. And you can see we started in the eighth spot. We're the third from Weird. the right. Right hats were good and then they weren't. And uh, you can see here that as we are approaching turn one, we've got a good start. We are side by side with the leaders. 
Um, only problem is, is with me being on the inside there at turn two, I couldn't really take the jump the way I wanted to. My fucking engine just blew up. And uh, because of that, I wasn't able to really turn. Um, but anyways, we're going to have uh, some more beating and banging. But it ultimately was a pretty good race. Um, but I'm going to once again go ahead and mute up my mic and let you guys enjoy this. So right here, I uh, showed my rust since I haven't really been doing the uh, Pro 4s and I braked way late and had to swing wide to avoid hitting the second place truck. Um, so that cost me a few spots, but it's still a very good race as you can see. Um, most of the trucks are right here in this lead pack. Um, but again, I'm going to go ahead and mute up my mic and let you guys enjoy this.
All right, guys, so I think it's this lap here. Um, I get a, uh, a nice run. Maybe it's the next one. Yeah, it's the next one. So right here, I'm getting back into the mix with these guys. Um, it's a great battle. I mean, we got, what, f uh, six trucks, seven trucks, all within a couple of seconds. And we are uh, approaching the halfway mark of the race. And I'm trying to find a way of getting around these guys. I made a little contact on uh, the Toyota truck there. That, that was my fault. Got me a little sideways, but didn't lose a whole lot of ground. I'm still right in the battle. And we're coming up here to Cowboy, which is going to get a little interesting. I kind of hit the berm there a little bit. But again, we got two, four, six trucks. Apologies for that pain. Oh, one, and that guy, the Texas Longhorns, got... got shoved into the barrier I got shoved wide I tried to save it couldn't and then uh, the 13 truck I guess you could say kind of uh, miscalculated just how wide he needed to go he gave me an extra little shove But at this point, we're uh, back down to eight. And um, unfortunately, I am now completely out of the battle for the lead. Um, it was a great battle for five and a half laps. But now I'm battling with these two to try to get myself back into sixth place. And right here, I believe it is. I make a miscalculation on how far he Sorry. was going to slide out. I, I thought he was going to cut way short and I was going to be able just to uh, get a run around him. But he I slid thought you were out. cutting in shallower than that, Ant. Sorry. He, 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 he slid out right in my path and I had nowhere to go. And as you heard, I apologize for it. Honestly, I have no idea if I did something wrong there or not. Nope, you ran the, your line and I miscalculated. But we are... very weird racking these things real well. We are I know, right? starting Normally lap eight, pick. so we got three laps to go, and you can see you got a fender that's hanging off. Uh, we are in seventh place now. Going to try to get back up there and battle uh, the sixth place truck. He is making a. In my opinion, one mistake in, in Cowboy. And I, did, I didn't notice it until basically uh, at this point in the race. But he is sliding his rear end out and basically doing a Tokyo Drift to do the 180. Um, the problem with that is... He has to break all momentum to get his uh, truck going back in the opposite direction. Um, and, and because of that, that's kind of throwing off um, some of my lines because um, I don't do the full uh, drift. I try to uh, make it so you kind of... Uh, drive around the corner and 
as you guys can will see it, it it's causing me to put uh, or gain a lot of ground on him in this corner here um, he does get the the drive off because I'm still sliding uh, but I mean, either way it's still a great race and we should be getting the white flag this time by and I believe the next lap my crew chief tells me that we have moved up a spot uh, I'm not sure exactly what ended up happening um, but since we are coming to the white flag lap of the feature I did want to say once again thank you everyone for uh, checking this out and if you did find yourself enjoying iRacing as the little graphic just showed I would appreciate it if you would uh, hit the like button and if you have not yet subscribed I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to the channel as well as all those things do help me out it lets me know you guys want to see more of this kind of content and uh, like I said these uh, Crandon qualifiers are going on all week leading up to the Crandon Championship on Saturday. Um, I will be streaming the championship on Saturday. Uh, right now, it's looking like I'm probably going to run the second and final session, which starts at 6 p.m. Pacific time, 9 p.m. on the East Coast on Saturday. Uh, probably will do at least one more of the qualifiers and if i do i will of course show that as well um possibly even stream i'm not 100 percent sure yet but we'll we'll see what happens uh but anyways we are coming to the checkered flag and we are in sixth place right now so that i will third was talk incredible. to you guys all next time